Hey there, thank you for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, aka the Brick Archivist, and I'm coming to you today with another breaking news video on LEGO Ninjago. For 2021, we will be getting a Ninjago Overlord Dragon set under the Legacy line for $30. Now obviously this is super exciting news for LEGO fans. People have been asking for the Overlord Dragon ever since it appeared in that climactic final battle at the end of season two. And we've been asking for years and years, well now eight years since the season aired, we are finally getting an Overlord Dragon. And this is a very exciting thing because of two very important things. One, we never got an Overlord Dragon set before. And Ninjago Legacy sets have been thus far focused only on sets that we got before. So this is a sign that says if this sells well, maybe they'll be willing to do some more things in terms of giving us stuff that we've seen in the show, but not in sets. While I understand the reason behind giving us sets that we've seen before, it's to let new fans be able to enjoy the old stuff and keep up with the show, I would really love to see more and more sets focus on stuff that we missed out on or didn't see that were in the show, but not in set form. The other thing about this that's really exciting is that this is our first villain-focused legacy set. All of the other Ninjago Legacy sets have one, been hero focused, and two, been only focused on previous hero sets. This one is a villain set and a villain that never appeared in set form before. So this is super, super exciting, and obviously when we get any more details, we will let you know. I am guessing this will include the Ninjago Legacy Overlord figure, as some previous Legacy sets have had him. And it might even include a Lloyd Golden Ninja figure, the same one that's probably in the Golden Dragon. And we probably will also get a Stone Army Warrior. If we're really lucky, we might get Evil Corrupted Neo. But that's a little bit of a stretch given how many minifigures they might be willing to put into the set or not. Now in terms of what this could look like size-wise, I know that a lot of people have been probably wanting a slightly bigger Overlord Dragon set. In fact, in the show, it just absolutely dwarfs anything that Lloyd throws at it, especially his Golden Dragon. You can see in a shot-by-shot -shot comparison here. That being said, I do greatly appreciate how they made this just a little bit more expensive than the last one. The previous Lloyd Legacy Dragon was $20. This is $30, so hopefully we'll get some semblance of scale difference there. In terms of getting a new molded header note, I'd say maybe, maybe not. They could reuse the old Lloyd Legacy Golden Dragon head. I can see them recoloring it in purple. That being said, this dragon does have a super, super unique head, and I wonder if that will mean we'll get actually two new sets of molds for this, for the upper and lower jaw. I guess we'll have to wait and see. For all we know, the head will be brick-built, which they tend to like to do in a lot of dragons these days. I guess our closest point of comparison in terms of size for this is, funnily enough, the original Golden Dragon from the Final Battle Season 2 line, which retailed for $30, obviously is larger than the Legacy Dragon set, so maybe in terms of size comparisons, this might be what we're looking for more as compared to the $20 Ninjago Legacy Dragon. But Again, we don't really know any details at this point other than the price, but we're very excited to report on this and we will be posting images the second that we can. But that is about it. Stay tuned to Duck Bricks for more LEGO news, reviews, and much more coming your way very soon. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye for now.